This Welcome screen to shows the you how to navigate through this tour. Magic user environment. Most screens this in this tour, tour have audio introduction features and functionality. Audio introduces of this screens and, and explains you concepts how to use on the many of the tools. You can increase or started, decrease the volume. Place your mouse over the introduction the plus or minus button and click in the, the control left mouse button. You can stop the audio if necessary by clicking the stop audio button. The Indigo Magic Desktop provides a visual interface to Unix. It harnesses the power and flexibility of Unix in an intuitive, easy-to-use interface. Some of the really exciting features of the desktop include smart icons, live desks, drop pockets for easy navigation, and extensive search capabilities. For a brief description of these features, click an object. The Search Tool allows directed searches on a local or network basis for files, systems, devices, and people. Icons returned for objects found can be dragged to the desktop. Icons in the environment are smart, that is, they actively monitor whatever they represent and change their appearance when some action occurs. For example, the CD player icon changes depending on what type of media is inserted, software, audio, or photo CD, and when double-clicked, launches the appropriate application. Drop Pockets provide navigation by reference of the file system. For example, in the Directory View window, icons for files can be dragged to the Drop Pocket, and the window instantly displays the contents of the directory where the icon is stored. This allows fast and flexible directory navigation while making efficient use of precious screen real estate. Desks allow you to have multiple computer screens active at one time and to switch between them by double-clicking your left mouse button. The benefit is the ability to organize your work into multiple desktops, effectively providing an infinite number of computer screens on one monitor. The Indigo Magic user environment also provides a rich set of integrated digital media tools. These powerful, easy-to-use tools provide basic production capabilities for a range of media. This screen gives you an overview of the media tools. Your user interface utilizes the full background screen as a desktop rather than confining it to a separate window. When you log into your system, you are placed on your desktop. Just as with a regular desk, you can organize your desktop however you want. Place applications or files on it or any other icons that you use regularly. There are many tools available to help you organize and manage work on your desktop. These tools are shown here and on other pages in this section. Icon Catalog contains many of the programs and applications that are on your system. The icons are organized into logical groups, such as applications or media tools. You can use the groups created for you or create your own collections of icons. Smart icons provide a visual interface for every aspect of interacting with your system. Not only are there icons for all your files and applications, but there are also icons for people, systems, and devices connected to systems, such as CD-ROM drives and printers. The icons actively monitor what they represent and change their appearance when some action occurs. Icon Catalog. There are several ways that you can interact with your desktop. Use the mouse for all point-and-click operations, such as opening pull-down menus or dragging and dropping icons. Use the keyboard to type commands in type-in fields or in a shell. The tool chests contain all the tools you need to interact with your system in one convenient location. At the very top of the tool chests is the name of the desk you are on. The, de the desktop tool chest provides tools to interact with and customize your individual desktop. For example, you can open your home directory, empty your dumpster, or customize your background. The selected tool chest provides commands for manipulating an icon that is selected on the background desktop. 
For example, you can open, copy, link, or change the permissions of a selected icon. The Find Tool Chest provides tools for finding files, systems, devices connected to systems such as tape drives, and people. You can also start Icon Catalog from the Find Tool Chest. The System Tool Chest contains the tools that a privileged user needs to change the configuration of the system, for example, adding or deleting user accounts. Standard users can use these tools to view system setup information. The Help Tool Chest provides more information about your system. For example, you can get an index of help topics or launch Insight and view entire manuals online. The Directory View window gives you a convenient way to view and manage your files and directories. This, the Drop Pocket has different functions depending on what tool you are using. In the Directory View window, you can drag and drop a folder icon into the Drop Pocket to move to a directory, or drag and drop a file or device icon there to move to the directory containing the icon. The path name field shows the full hierarchical path name of the directory being displayed. You can type a directory name in the path name field to move to a new directory. The buttons directly above the path name field represent the directory components of the path name. Click on one of these buttons to go to a directory in the path. You will see the recycle button in many tools. In the directory view window, the recycle button keeps track of the directories you were in previously and lets you easily return to those directories. This is the directory view window. The contents of a directory are displayed here. Subdirectories are represented as folder icons. The full hierarchical path name of the directory appears in the path name field above the window. These top three buttons allow you to display your files in different ways. You can view your files as icons, as a list, or as columns. These buttons correspond to the choices in the View menu. The Preview Image button allows you to view image files as pictures instead of icons. For example, if you were looking at the contents of a photo CD, you could click the Preview Image button to display all the files on the CD as pictures. The Shelf button opens a shelf. You can place commonly used files from the directory onto the shelf so that you can easily access them. This button, as well as the Preview Image button, is a toggle. Click the button again to go back to its initial state. Place frequently used files and icons onto the shelf for easy access to these files when you come back to this directory. In this example, the directory contains all of the user's color showcase slides. The slides currently being worked on are on the shelf, as well as the showcase icon. Try the examples shown here on the directory view window you opened. This screen reviews the places that you can access icons. This screen explains how to move and copy icons. When you move an icon, you change its location in the file system. When you copy an icon, you create an exact duplicate of the icon.
Follow the instructions on this screen to learn how to remove an icon. You can only remove an icon if you have the correct permissions. The Find Tool Chest provides tools to search for information. You can search locally or over a network for files, people, systems and devices connected to systems such as tape drives. Try the search example shown here. Your user interface lets you create multiple desktops or desks. Desks allow you to have multiple computer screens active at one time and to easily switch between them. Desks Overview shows you each of the desks you have set up. For each desk, you see the desk name and an outline of the windows on that desktop. You can move windows from one desk to another by simply dragging and dropping them between views. If you want to move to another desk, place your cursor over its view and double-click the left mouse button. Use New Desk in the Desk menu to create a new desk. One of the ways you can help differentiate between desks is to customize the screen background for each desk. Media Mail supports the distribution of multiple files via electronic mail. Media Mail provides a rich visual interface to standard Unix mail systems and supports the attachment and transport of any file type that can be created or viewed on your system, such as movies, audio, 3D, and showcase. This screen discusses the two levels of changes you can make to system software. People who have privileged user accounts can make changes that affect all users. For example, they can add, modify, or delete user accounts. People who have standard user accounts can make changes that affect only their own account or their desktop environment. For example, they can modify their screen background color or create new desks. This screen explains the system manager. For people with standard user accounts, this tool allows you to see how your system is set up. For privileged users, this tool is a central place from which you can run all the system administration tools to change the configuration of the system. The background tool lets you customize the pattern on your background desktop. Follow the instructions shown here to change your background. 